Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for joining me with my first video on my U YouTube channel. This is James Baseball Card with James, and today I'm going to be opening my first few boxes on, I've ever done on video. So we're going to be doing a blaster box of Allen and Ginter 2019. And this is actually kind of what inspired part of doing this video is I did a review of a uh, blaster box I opened yesterday on Instagram, and it's been getting a lot of really cool feedback. So I'm going to start doing videos of me opening stuff, and as a new baseball collector, kind of, you know, looking at these cards with a fresh eye, and I've been a long-time baseball fan, so I'm really into fantasy baseball, prospects, uh, just baseball in general, just never been a collector of cards. I did collect hockey cards back in the 90s, you know, when a lot of us were kids, but got out of it for a long time, and just during the quarantine, seeing jabs, breaks, and fills, pulls, you know, kind of got me to start checking out cards again, and you know, as you can see, I've kind of been jumping into it pretty hard. So I've pulled a few rookies so far, but I'm still looking for a Tatis, an Eloy. Those are uh, the main things I'm trying to pull, which is why I got another box of the 2019. But yeah, just stay with the channel. I'll be doing breaks and talking about new products, kind of how my eyes see them and what I think about them. And on top of that, we're going to be doing some pretty cool breaks. So just when I get deals, I'm going to buy them and just different hot corners and hanger boxes. We're going to design cool stuff. All right, let's start out. Oh, actually, before we open the Allen and Ginter, let me show you what else we're going to open. So I've got the Allen and Ginter. I had a coupon after the blaster box I got. So we have tin, a fat pack. So we're going to look, be looking for the, the rookies of 2020. The only one I'm still missing is Luis Robert. So we're really going to be hoping I get one of him. And then I'm joined today by my friend Mike, who he is a longtime friend of mine. And after being exposed to all these baseball cards in quarantine, is here to help me out and be my Jamie for those of you who have uh, watched Joe Rogan. So for any stats I need, Mike's right next to me with the computer ready to go. Right. Now, obviously, you know, in a perfect world, we'd get like a red ink Vladimir Guerrero rookie or something like that. But I like the kind of the wacky cards that come in Allen, Allen and Ginter. I got one of the Lost Language mini cards last night. And that would have been the highlight of the box, except for I pulled this Yadier Molina. So that was pretty exciting. All right, let's get into it. Wow, right off the bat, I, looks like we just pulled a, a fr signed mini frame. Holy shit. I'm just going to jump right to the back here. Look at that. So we have Gamey's memorabilia mini frame right in the first pack Roger Hornsby should be one out of 187 Mike says he pulled one of these out of every what was it 187 packs mm -hmm. wow that I don't see a serial number on it but it definitely seems pretty rare we're gonna get that in a soft sleeve which I actually left in the other room. That was a bad move. We're gonna just leave that to the side for now. It's gonna be hard to imagine that's not the hit of the, hit of the night already in the first pack. Cody Bellinger. They've got one of these minis in every every pack. I like these minis quite a bit. Kind of a throwback to how baseball cards get started. It's one of the things I really like about this series is they just feel like old baseball cards. I mean, they feel really old. There's one of the inserts, a Ginter great, Tom Seaver, very cool. Yesterday I got a Randy Johnson and a Ricky Henderson of that insert out of these packs. So, yeah, Alan Ginter's treated me really well. That's two blaster boxes and two relics. The Adair Molina and Roger Hornsby, can't really beat that. Starting this pack off with Derek Jeter. Huh, that's funny, followed by Didi Gregorius. That's cool to see these those two coming out of a pack in order. Derek Jeter's not a short print. 
I think you're gorgeous. And like behind this Tom Seaver, I see another history in flight, and I like collecting these cards. Ooh, that Tom Seaver is a short print. So we're gonna set that aside as well. I like these history of flight cards quite a bit. I got two last night, the Kitty Hawk and Chuck Yeager. And this one, I don't know off the top of my head, a Boeing 707. You guys can pause it if you want to read it. I won't make all of you guys have to go through it, but I'm really looking forward to those cards. I'm a big fan of those. Mike's looking up that Roger Hornsby right now, and he's seeing it's listed for, looks like about $30 online. Is that sold or listed? Oh, there's also, it's, well, there's some listed for over 50 too, so we'll have to see what they're selling for. But, yeah, I think, I think that's a hell of a card. And this Phil Rizzuto here, this is a short print as well. This mini. The black border's a one out of ten. Uh, it's not the black border, it's the uh, Allen and Ginterbeck. It's one out of five. Yeah, so those are one out of five. So, so far, this pack has been pretty good to us. I like my history of flight inserts i think i might end up buying enough packs out of these that i put together the whole set they make a poster when they all go together which i've seen and it looks pretty cool and at the rate i'm going with these blasters pulling a relic out of every one of them i can't imagine why i would stop getting them but yeah i love the way again love the way they feel it's a good looking picture of cole hamels I'm really hoping for the, the Tatis rookie, but, you know, again, so far the chase has been way worth it. Got a collectible canine mini popping out. Papillon. I don't know anything about that. If you guys want to read that, I'll hold it in front so you can pause it. I see another history of flight, so that's cool. You don't necessarily get more than one of those per box. I've gotten two per box both times. Not the same one, which is good, since, like I said, I'm going to try to put the set together. I really like those. So, so far getting two out of the first few packs, I'm pretty happy with. Did you by chance find any of the sold versions of that mini? Start, starting out with Justin Verlander, which is not a short print, but actually a good-looking picture of Verlander. We've got a rookie, but not the rookie we're looking for, Dakota Hudson. There's another short print, Orlando Sipa. We've got an Al Kaline baseball start signs card it's an insert and we've got a Tom Seaver mini that's a short print based on the number and we've got a Jose Abreu all right we're halfway through this blaster can't imagine we're gonna go anywhere but more downhill which can't complain about that being how it started and looks like we've got one sold so far on eBay of that Roger Hornsby, and it sold for $30. So it's obviously more than we paid for for the box. And there's the Babe right there. Babe Ruth. Let's see if that's a short print. It is not. It's the third card of the set. John Lester. Frank Thomas. Another Ginter Greats. I like this insert. Man, is that a big guy. Would not want to have to pitch against him. And we've got an, a new to the zoo. I don't remember what the odds are in these. I think they're like one in eight, yeah, something like right. that. Yeah, Mike says they're one in eight. Got another rookie, a Josh James. Not Tatis, like we're hoping. And as far as these minis go, I really do like the Lost Languages, so I would, would definitely not mind pulling more of the Lost Languages minis. But in addition, there's a Eloy Jimenez short print rookie card that I would really like to pull, if given the chance. J.D. Martinez. Shouldn't do little. That's a short print. 
Got an incredible equipment Santa sleigh, preceded by another Allen and Ginter back mini. So I don't know if you guys have got a chance to see these Santa sleigh. These incredible equipment, they're pretty funny. I'll pause it on the back so you guys can check it out. And we've got Mariano Rivera. So this has been a good box for the Yankees so far. Let's see, we're starting off by Corey Seager on the back. So we've got a Pudge Mini. We'll have to see if, nope, it's not a short print. Just a regular Mini. Bryce Harper. We've got a Arabian Mare's Stallion card. It's another one of the kind of goofy inserts. That's an Allen and Ginter. I am a fan of these. So those are cool. And Corey Seager. All right, down to our last pack of Allen and Ginter. See if there's anything else sitting there waiting for us. Yeah, they definitely seem to have loaded these up with quite a bit of relics. Unless I've been really fortunate, but I haven't seen too many other videos of people opening blaster boxes, so I don't really know what to expect. Here's a first tiger mask, which I guess is a wrestler. I'm not a wrestling fan, so I wasn't familiar with that. There's another Ginter great, Albert Pujols. That's cool. He seemed to get one of, or I've been getting two of those per box. There's an in bloom, Allen and Ginter mini card. Doesn't look like it's a short print. Mike, what's the uh, the odds on these in bloom? In bloom, that's one out of fifty. One out of fifty. Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, I would maybe I can find some of the lost language that really likes uh, these flowers. I can trade. And the last card, it's a Whit Merrifield. So still chasing the Tatis rookie, along with the Eloy, but certainly can't complain. Just to go over real quick the highlights. We'll go through the minis. So for the minis, we've got Pudge, new to the zoo elephants, collectible canines, Rosario, it's in bloom that's one out of 50, Seaver, Rizzuto, just Rizzuto's now on the Ginter back. And so for some of our inserts, we've got Pujols, Ginter Great, the Mares and Stallion, Santa Sleigh. We've got a Frank Thomas Ginter Great. We've got an LK line baseball signs. Some short prints. We've got these two History of Flights, which brings my collection up to four of the 15. Got another short print. And a Tom Seaver Ginter Great. And then, of course, to the highlight of the box is that right there. And what were the ads on this again, Mike? That? Is that a... That's the mini relic. relic? Yeah, the framed relic. That's one in 175. One in 175 packs. Well, I think that's probably going to be the best hit of the night, but we still do have this fat pack and this blaster box to go through. And you know what? We're actually we're almost at the 15-minute mark, so I think I might call this video... And then we'll make a separate video for Cops 2020. So I'll use this as a chance to uh, shout out what we've got coming up. So some of the packs up here you can see are not open. And the reason for that is I was chasing a Guerrero rookie, but I got it. And so now I'm sitting here with all these fat packs, 2019 update, some hanger boxes. So I'm going to do... A break with these and I wanted in order to make it a little more exciting I'm going to incorporate some of these hot corners into them as well the hits from those so stay tuned uh, subscribe hopefully we'll get a community going with people who just like to talk baseball cards fantasy baseball and just hang out while we open packs talk baseball and you know get to know each other talk to you later YouTube bye